Kamada. Kamada. Bama Uziana did ya bone Rambo. So boy, eh, Tanya Kwakba, Yaho, the next president of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency. We have free technical and vocational education as well. It is when we said we are bringing free TVET. They said it was not possible, but we said it is possible and we have done it. They said that they were canceling their cancel teacher training allowances. We said we will restore it. They said it was not possible, but we said it is possible and we have restored it. We have restored nursing training allowances. We have brought drones to deliver medicine in our hospitals. When we said we were bringing drones they said it was 419. They said it was not possible. But we said it is possible. And we have implemented. Today, we said we are bringing Agenda 111 to build 111 hospitals. It has never been done in Ghana. They said it was not possible. And we said it is possible. And we have done it. We have really changed. Everything that we said we are going to do, they said it was not possible. Even the Ghana card, they were asking their supporters not to go and register. Today we have registered over 18 million Ghana cards. Today we have registered the Ghana card at the International Civil Aviation Organization. So today, if you go anywhere in the world, anywhere, and your passport gets lost, you can take the Ghana card and board a plane 
addresses for every place in Ghana. Village or town has a digital address. We have solved Ghana's address problem. There is no house in a village or town in Ghana that doesn't have a digital address. When you I said we are bringing the digital address system, no country in, in Africa had a digital address system. Only one country in the whole world had a digital address system. And Ghana now is the second country in the whole world with a digital property address system. They thought it was not possible, but we said it is possible and we have done it. Chobai, Chobai, when we came into office, many people did not have a bank account. They had Momo accounts. But the Momo accounts were not working well. You couldn't send money from MTN to Vodafone or to Airtel Tigo. You couldn't send money from a bank account to a Momo account or a Momo account to a bank account. So I said, let us do something that has not been done before. Let us do mobile money interoperability so that you can put all the banks and the telecom companies on one platform so that you can move money from a bank account to a Momo account to a Momo account to a bank account to a Momo account. When I said, when I said let's do mobile money interoperability, they said I was lying, that is not possible. No country in Africa had done it and I said it is possible. Today we have done it and we are the first country in Africa to do it. Today because we have done it, you can stay at home and renew your national health insurance on your mobile phone. You don't need to go anywhere. Today you can stay at home and buy electricity credit on your mobile phone. Today, today you, if someone sends you money from abroad, today it comes onto your mobile phone. You don't go to Western Union to queue to collect the money. It is possible. It is possible. There is one more major innovation that I'm going to bring to Ghana. If you look at what is happening in the country, advanced countries, look at America, look at Canada, look at the UK, look at Japan, Australia, all the advanced countries, life is easier there. Isn't that the case? The reason why life is easier is because they have a credit system. Credit system means if you are living in these countries, and you are going, you want to buy something, TV, fridge, furniture, car, computer, mobile phone, you, if you don't have the cash, you can go and get credit and pay small, 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 and that is the system. So life gets easier over there than in Ghana where everything you have to pay, you have to pay cash. You have to pay cash. I have studied the system and for the last eight years we have also been putting in place the mechanism for Ghana to also have a credit system like it is in the overseas countries. So there are three things. There are three things that makes the credit system work in the advanced countries. One, everybody has an ID. Everybody has a unique ID, either a card or a number. Two, everybody has an address. If somebody gives you a TV to pay, small, small, and you don't pay, don't come to your house and pay their TV. The third one, everybody has a bank account. So these are the three things. And over the last eight years, we have also been putting them in place in Ghana. Today, we have the Ghana card. 
to everybody as an identity. Today, we have the digital address system. Everybody has an address. Today, we have mobile money interoperability. Everybody has a bank account. So all the three things we have now put in place in Ghana. So we have been working to introduce Ghana's credit scoring system. I thought that we will finish the work next year. But by the grace of God, we have completed the work on Ghana's credit scoring system. It is done. So, everybody who has a Ghana card will have a credit score. And that will allow you to get credit, to be able to pay small, small, small. And that is how we are going to do it. On the 7th of November, on the 7th of November, I will launch Ghana's credit scoring system on the 7th of November. The, Joby, Joby, the whole of Africa is only one country that has a credit scoring system, and that is South Africa. Next month, Ghana will be the second country in Africa to have a credit scoring system. And that will make life easier for all of us. Make life easier for all of us. Joey, Joey, I'm going to bring in a new policy to bring down the cost of electricity in Ghana. Today, our cost of electricity is high because we are importing oil and gas to generate electricity and the prices are high. So I'm going to bring a new policy. Ghana will move away from oil and gas and will move to solar power, solar power, solar power to generate electricity. So we are going to bring in 2,000 megawatts of solar power and I will bring down the cost of electricity by 50% reduction of 50% in the cost of electricity. Chobai, Chobai, Chobai. Under my government, all persons with disability will go for tertiary education for free. All persons with disability will go, will have free tertiary education. Chobai, we are going to make the application for passports so easy for everybody. Very, very easy. If you want a passport, you get the form, fill it, take your birth, birth certificate and other documents. When I looked at the passport form, all the questions they are asking on the form is on the Ghana card. All the questions are on the Ghana card. So from next year, if you have a Ghana card and you are looking for a passport, you don't have to fill a form anymore. You don't have to fill a form anymore. You don't have to fill a form anymore. You just pay your fee and we will print your passport for you. You pay your fee and we will print. You don't have to fill a form. Chobai, I'm changing the, the laws around the driver's license. Today, Ghana's driver's license is valid for six years. And every two years, you have to go and renew it. Every two years, you have to go to DVLA and renew it. I'm changing it. The new license from next year will be valid for 10 years. And you will renew every five years. Every five years. Chobai, Chobai, we need our youth to have jobs. I'm going to train one million youth in digital skills. One million youth in digital skills. Even school dropouts, we will train them in digital skills. They will stay here in home and work in America, in Canada, in the UK, in Germany, in Australia, right from here in home. Chobai, Chobai, we are going to have at least 
5,000 young people in who was trained with digital skills. 5,000 young people will be given training in digital skills at the very least. Chobai, Chobai, we are going to make history. So let us make history together. I want you to vote for Dr. Baumia, and I also want you to vote for Eric Nick Godier. Eric Nick Godier. Let us vote number one, Dr. Baumia and Eric Nick Godier. Let us vote.